ban banks from some high-risk trades. But the so-called Volcker rule faces stiff opposition in the Senate Banking Committee. The Financial Times reports Chairman Chris Dodd may drop or tamp down many of its recommendations in order to get bipartisan support. One thing a committee should count on, pressure from an angry electorate. Take a look at this new ad from the Americans United for Change. When big banks went hog wild on Wall Street, they left behind one fine mess on Main Street. Their greed and recklessness left the economy stuck in the mud and over 7 million Americans without jobs. But the big banks were first in line at the trough for their taxpayer bailout and back to their old piggish ways in no time. Now, the Wall Street lobbyists say they'll clean up their act. But remember, you can put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. Amen to that. And joining me now from Washington is Karen Benjamin. She's the Deputy Executive Director for Americans United for Change. Well, the message, Karen, is very clear. Either reform the system or get thrown out. At least that's the feeling across the country right now. How effective do you think that ad is going to resonate with folks and how spot on is it? Uh, you know, we think it's dead on. It's, it's pretty hard to be less blunt than that ad. I think it also is saying what a lot of people already know about how the Wall Street banks are behaving and about some of the things that we face in getting real financial reform passed. I think that, you know, all of this talk of how we're going to do things differently and, and the Luntz memo, it really is lipstick on a pig. We've seen it all before and we've seen it obstruct real reform. and. That's what we're going to need. That's of course, we have, yeah, we have the partisan divide in Washington, no doubt about it, even on this issue. This is some comments from Senator Shelby of Alabama today on the Senate Banking Committee. I'm quite disturbed by the manner in which the administration has gone about introducing their latest proposal for consideration. We're more than a year into our deliberation on regulatory reform. This concept concept that we have before us today was airdropped into the debate. What's your response to that attitude, that approach that uh, the Republicans are taking? I That is flat out. I, I don't know where it comes from. It's flat out ridiculous. I mean, you put things, this has been percolating. They passed it in the House, and they have been building on it and making changes and making it better all along. That's the legislative process. You know, that's, that's how it's done. I don't see how this was dropped in. We've been talking about, you know, these banks that are too big to fail and these ways in which we can keep their greedy and reckless schemes from bringing down the rest of the economy. And this was an idea that came forward and they put it into a policy proposal and it's time to debate it and discuss it. That's what Congress does. Now, now Karen is the uh, organization Americans United for Change. Are you choosing sides in political campaigns? For we instance, there's a primary going on today uh, in, in Chicago. Uh, if you had a choice, would you be running this against and identifying campaigns now that the Supreme Court has come out with a new rule? Would you use this to your advantage? Uh, we don't run political ads against specific campaigns at this point. At this point, would that change? Not sure. Not this, sure. We'll this, have to see what we think needs to be done to make real change. This is a chart showing finance, insurance, and real estate sector lobbying in 2009, second highest ever, $437.4 million has been spent. It's astounding. It really is. There's not a whole lot. You know, we're never the people, the unemployed people in this country are never going to have the money to go up against that. All they've got really is the fact that they're right and, and their yeah. voices. Karen Benjamin, good to have you on. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. That does it for us this hour. I'm Ed Schultz coming up on my show at 6 o'clock Eastern. The fiery debate over the 9-11 trials. I don't know why the Democrats are afraid of their own shadow. Right now, I'll go head to head with Republican, in that hour, go head to head with Republican John Barrasso. That's this evening on The Ed Show, right after Chris Matthews and Hardball, right here on MSNBC. Chris is up right now, here on The Place for Politics. Man in the arena, let's play Hardball.
Good evening, I'm Chris Bandis in Washington.